everybody. Um, today was my first day of clinical, so if you can't tell, I have my scrubs on and my pants. First day, I was so excited, very anxious in the morning, but um, I got there, we had perspectives first, which is kind of like the ethics class and such, and um, this was the book we needed. I have all my chapters tabbed. I told you I would show you my books once I get them all tabbed. And um, I just basic binder set up for now. I'll show you with my other binder for my second class today. But um, it was an amazing day, and I was so excited to be there. The class was full. People. Full world. That's Carlton. Carlton, you want to say hi? What's up, everybody? <laughs> he just got back from wrestling practice. Um, so Are you going to put clothes on? What? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, that's my almost 15-year-old. Um, my second, so that was an hour and 50-minute class. And um, we got to talk, uh, stand up. She wanted us to introduce ourselves, you know, tell them why we wanted to go into nursing, what area of nursing maybe we might like to go into, um, we, where we were from, about our family support system, things like that. And then we had our second class which is fundamentals and that was from 10 to 4 we had an hour break for lunch um, and that teacher wanted us to do the same thing so it was kind of like uh, repetitive as far as what people were saying but with each teacher some uh, they kind of we kind of picked new things to tell about the second time around but I had to tell on myself the first time I stood up and when it was my turn and started talking about why I wanted to go into nursing or what and I I just got a little choked up I was just so excited and happy to be there I started my voice started shaking and I'm like oh crud and I just started tearing and getting a little sappy and I'm like yes I'm the dork I said but it's my turn finally after 20 something years of waiting and you know so eh, people really liked what I had to say but it was heartfelt and I'm just so blessed to finally be at this stage and I know it's going to be amazing and hard at the same time but I'm just so ready for it that I don't care. I'm looking forward to it, every single bit of it. Um, and then the girl that uh, stood up after me she goes well you're kind of hard to follow so it was it was it was kind of funny. Um, all ranges of ages and people we had one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight or nine guys. So that's cool. And um, so our second class was this big, the fundamentals, like I said. So that's how I, t uh, 46 chapters in this book. So I tab each chapter, chapter one, two, three, whatever. And then up top, this is the, uh, I tab the equivalence page, adult values, the glossary and the index. Those are just for some quick reference too. So chapters are on this side and the extra stuff in the back is on this side. And so far I am really enjoying this book. I like how it's written and laid out. And actually I really enjoyed reading about, we, are, we had 50 pages to read. I got the assignment yesterday, so check, check, check. Even though I knew of some assignments already, I'm sorry, my last video cut out on me. I had to uh, free up some space on my phone. So I was telling you about tapping up my books and things. I think that's where I left off. Um, or we were talking about ourselves in class. But the teachers were amazing. Um, they're strict and firm. But everything they were asking of us is fair. Um, you know, you have to step it up. It's a whole new ball game now. And um, there were some people that were late. But, you you know, life gets in the way and kids and, you know, schedules and things like that. But they um, they did explain that doors would be shut and, you know, locked when class begins, when lecture begins. So you're going to have to wait until the following break um, to come in. You're more than welcome to come in at that time. But they just don't want to be disrupted and uh, the people who are there on time disrupted. And I think that's pretty standard everywhere. I don't know. How's it where your guys' schooling is? Um, my binder's... Um, just because I didn't really know what I'm doing yet, I wanted to get the feel for the class, but I just got uh, my new binder. My kids wrote me some good luck notes, so I put those there. Um, I had the syllabus in the front already printed out. 
Some people didn't know to check Blackboard for assignments, which I kind of found a little odd just because if they've taken prereqs, there's always assignments listed and things like that. So you would think you would check. So if you're if you're not for sure, check your school's website. I'm sure everybody does Blackboard. I'm not sure whatever your school does use. Always check even right up to the night before because our teachers explain that, that be, between our school email and uh, Blackboard, that's how they communicate with us. So if there's going to be a last minute change or last minute assignment or whatever, it's going to be through there. So check it often. And I know that a lot of times you can have your school email transferred to your phone or whatever. So, uh, you know, you can figure out how to do that. But I just had PowerPoints printed out already. We had quite a few chapters that were assigned to us for reading for our first test, which is next week. So I had all those printed out. Uh, PowerPoints don't really work well for me, but um, I'm going to... During lecture, they followed the PowerPoints. They said a few extra things, so I was sure to write, you know, add some things. I took some of my own notes ahead of time. I got all of the terminology words used, and um, I already looked them up, so I kind of had an understanding of the verbiage, uh, the medical terminology. I really think that that's a great class to take. If you can take that, isn't a, it's, it's not required where we are. I think it should be, but... Um, Anyway, I had that done before I went to class today. And then I just put my pocket folders in here. I don't have anything in there yet. I did get a um, homework assigned already due for Wednesday. I have dinner in the oven. <laughs> um, trying to cook while I can. Um, hold on just a second. Very sorry, I have to cook dinner while I can. Um, <laughs> so what else did I want to tell you? I just had a fabulous day. I, I can't even tell you how excited I am about it. I, I didn't want to leave. I mean, we got done about half an hour early. It was like 3.30 and I was just kind of sitting there like, I could go for more. But um, they gave us a break every hour, which was nice. And they would tell you, I want you back at such and such a time. And, you know, you have 10 minutes, I want you back at 1 or 10 of 1 or whatever. And there were still some people coming in 5, 10 minutes after that time. So I'm kind of like, hmm. I think all these little things, not our tests, but they're paying attention to who can time management, you know. Um, bring snacks, bring, you know, so you don't have to run to a vending machine if you can get organized and enough. I know it's hard to do. I tried to have my lunch packed and ready last night. It's easier said than done, especially if you have smaller ones than I do. That my son you saw earlier is my baby. So, um, I mean, they still need me and stuff, but they're pretty self-sufficient. So anyway, thank you to my old subscribers who have been with me from the beginning and welcome to all my new subscribers. I get so many every day and I'm completely blessed that you have chosen to follow me and I'm thrilled that I help so many of you. You leave me such sweet comments and um, you guys mean the world to me. You keep me going and if there's anything I can do for you, I, I do have video requests that I am um, working on and I someone asked me for a NLN video, how I study for the NLN. I gave my book to a friend um, to borrow. She's taking it tomorrow, so I'll get that back from her because I wanted to show you how I had that book set up and exactly what I did. So I will make that video as soon as I get that back from her. But video requests, please, I love them. Keep them coming. I will get them done. And um, I will let you know more about maybe at the end of my first week. I just wanted to tell you about my first day. So again, thank you for sharing this with me. Um, let me know how your first day was, if you've already had it, if it's coming up in the next week or two. Good luck. Try and be as prepared as you can. Like I said, read ahead of time. I was totally able to keep up with lecture today um, because I had done that reading ahead of time. And it's a lot of reading. It was a lot of people have told me it's a lot of reading, and it is. So I think if you can really keep up with that, um, that's key. And oh, 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 our second teacher, well, 
they both talked about support systems at home and things and you know some people you know they're on their own doing their own thing but they said to be sure to take time out for yourself stress management uh, you know even if it's just an hour to you know soak in a tub or watch a movie with the family but they said if you want the support system that you have if you want it at the end of this long journey they said you have to make time for them as well whether it's an hour a week, four or five hours a week of, she said it's not quantity of time, it's quality of time. And that's very important, and I've learned that doing my prereqs already. Um, but I'm so glad that she mentioned that, and not just time with your children, but time with your spouse or significant other. Um, if, if you have that, um, even with the people who are supporting you, your parents, your aunt, your grandma, your grandpa, your uncles, your friends, um, Make time for them, but also it's just time management, and sometimes it's hard to get down right away. But I know um, once you get a system and a routine down, you know what you're doing every day, and that just really seems to help. And I'll show you my um, planner too now that I got my second um, syllabus printed out. Um, I have all my times of everything every day, so I know exactly what I'm doing. And the night before, I do make a list of how I'm, you know, what hours I'm doing. Or what I need to do for the next day so that helps a lot too with the empty spaces of time but again I would love to hear about your first day if you've had it if not once you have it please let me know and I'll see you on the next video good night bye, bye. Carlton